Welcome to 10 Secrets to Exceptional Presentations by PresentationPoint.com. Secret number one is to start with the outcome in mind. So to focus yourself that way, think about what do you want your audience to learn? What do you, how do you want them to feel? What action do you want them to take? So by starting with this outcome, then you can build your presentation to create this outcome. You can design your presentation to take people step by step on the journey to what you want them to learn, the journey to how you want them to feel, and to the action you want them to take. Secret number two is to know your audience. Why are they coming to your presentation? What are they looking for? What questions do they have? If you don't know this, then you're not going to be giving them what you want and your presentation runs the risk of not really being relevant to them. A great tool for this is answerthepublic.com. If you enter your keyword, it will come up with this very cool mapping system which gives you questions that people are asking around your keyword. So it's a great tool that makes it really easy to build a presentation around the questions that your audience has. Secret number three is the power of your message. What is the point? Why does your message matter to this audience? Remember that in this case, you are a storyteller. So stories are much more powerful than just telling people techniques or telling people uh, you know, tips. A real life story has a huge impact. And overall, be authentic. People can sense when you're trying to snow them, when, you, when you know, you're just, just trying to convince them of something. Instead, be real, be authentic. Secret number four is use powerful, high impact graphics in your presentation. One option is to use stock photos. Uh, they're easy to find, high resolution, they're low cost, and they can easily be used to illustrate a point. Think about taking real photos. Now, while they might not be as pretty as a professionally taken stock photo, in many cases, people will connect to them uh, you know, more be because they're real. If you were going to be promoting a, a charity and you had real life photos of, of people you're helping, um, say homeless people in a city or, or children in Africa, those are real photos that are going to have a much higher impact than a generic uh, stock photo would. And consider illustrations. Illustrations uh, can be more expensive, but you can have custom illustrations made that are custom tailored to illustrate what you want to show. Secret number five is limit the bullet point slides. Avoid those walls of bullet point text. Instead, what you want is very short, simple text with high impact graphics and illustrations. Secret number six is to make that emotional connection. Uh, you know, maybe you're giving great information, but what you need to do is to tug at their heartstrings, share inspiring stories, share mistakes you've made, because that makes, makes it more real and people can connect better when you give them an emotional reason to connect to you. Secret number seven is to make your presentation dynamic. If you're showing data, make sure the data is up to date. Make sure uh, you know it, it's going to be real time. Make sure that it's going to be relevant to people. Some ways of making your presentation dynamic is you could be showing real time tweets of your events. You could poll your audience in real time. You could have live sales or other number updates. So imagine being able to provide that right during the session. If you were doing a session on uh, you know, how many people are dying of a certain disease, you could actually have that number updating on the screen while you're presenting. That's really powerful if every moment or two that number refreshes and suddenly they say, wow, you know, during the time we've been talking, another you know, 10 people have died of that disease. 
Secret number eight is to create separate handouts. Don't give out your slides. If your slides are done well and they're high impact graphics with really short text, they're not really that useful as handouts. They're really more of a, a visual add-on to the presenter themselves, to you as the presenter. So instead, make a useful handout, one they can actually follow, something like a checklist or an illustration of the process or a how-to. Secret number nine is to know your venue. And this is key. I've had many times where I show up and I look at the venue and I go, oh crap, there, there's problems here. Not everybody's gonna be able to see me. There's some bad lines of sight. Uh, some parts are awkward. One time I was presenting with two, I had two screen on either side of me and a really spread out audience, very wide in front of me. So how, how do you make eye contact with many people? So knowing this ahead of time has a, a big impact. Test your technology, your computer, your presentation, your audio ahead of time to make sure that it's fully working and have a backup plan for technical problems. Whenever I present, I make sure that even if I couldn't get any of the technology working, no, no computer screens or anything else, I make sure that I could still do a good presentation. And the final tip is to be a great presenter. Now, how do you be a great presenter? Part of it is to practice. Even when I have a workshop I've taught so many times, I'm sure I could teach it in my sleep, I still run through and I still still practice it a number of times beforehand. And the benefit of this too is I keep refining my presentation, making it better, because each time I teach it, I get better, and that includes the practice. I find the awkward spots, I find spelling errors, I find mistakes, I find ways where that's not really clear, I could explain that better. Deliver your presentation with enthusiasm and passion. I was watching one video online of a presenter and the presenter had really good information, but they made a lot of the common presenter mistakes, saying um a lot and, and things like that. And as a professional presenter myself, I really notice those and usually they drive me nuts. But this presenter was so enthusiastic, so passionate, so authentic and had such good content that I found myself just enjoying the presentation anyway, even though I could find all these technical flaws that usually would impact my enjoyment. Be very cautious when you're presenting using humor. Uh, different cultures can react to the kinds of jokes in different ways. Avoid off-color jokes. Uh, you know, really nothing that might involve um, any political issues, uh, nothing that might involve racist type stuff or even uh, sexist type stuff. I mean, it, it, it's just a landmine. You know, humor can be a landmine. The kind of humor that works well is self-deprecating. Poke fun at yourself. It makes you feel vulnerable. It, it, it shows that you're authentic. It shows that you're real. And so that kind of humor works. When you point out mistakes you've made, things you've done, uh, weird things that happened to you, that works really well. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you have, please share it with others through social media. For more presentation help, visit presentationpoint.com.